Hey, LF Tech here, and we're taking a look at the Sonoff Basic Wi-Fi switch. We had a chance to review Sonoff's Wi-Fi outlet switch, which you can find in the link in the description down below. Their basic Wi-Fi switch is just what it says, basic. In the box, you get the switch or module, if you want to call it that, and some very basic instructions. The idea behind this here is to install this on any appliance power cord you have that you want to control via Wi-Fi. For those that are sensitive to appliance power cord mutilation, you might want to look away because installing this consists of cutting the power cord to your beloved device, stripping down the wires and with the provided screws and brief instructions, fit the cables in the proper terminals and screwing everything in. Honestly, it's really not that difficult, but there are many out there that would be a little hesitant about cutting up their power cord to any of their home appliances. So for our test, we bought a cheap light from Amazon, installed, download the app, and it works really well, actually. As you can see, the functionality behind this is really easy. It's simple on and off. We can't dim the light bulb here or make color changes. If you were to install this on a fan, which we also tested, it's not going to change the fan speed. It's your basic on off switch, but via Wi-Fi. So keeping the light in the on position, we have full control over it wirelessly and the same with a fan. The button on the switch will turn it on and off manually and a long press will put it into sync mode. To take this to the next level, you can also sync the app with your Google Home or Alexa where you can voice control the switch. And at least when we test it on the Google Home side, it will recognize what name you give it. For a fan, we have a Vornado fan, which we name so in our app. When we say, turn on the Vornado fan, it turns it on. So we took what wasn't wireless and gave it a smart on off switch basically. As a bonus, these things are super cheap, like eight bucks a pop cheap on Amazon. We've even seen some sales on other sites where they were low as five bucks. At this price, you could just buy a ton, run around the house installing them on every appliance you can get your wire cutters on. But not everything with this smart switch is great. First, for some, this setup is gonna suck because like Sonos other products, these don't support five gigahertz. This is the same issue we ran into with their other outlet switch. We recommend checking out that review for more details. Once you can Jedi mind trick your way into getting the app to sync with the switch, it's fine, it works pretty well. It's got on off, timers, schedulers, and the other standard Wi-Fi enabled features you see on most IoT stuff. Second issue is pretty obvious, their method of install. We guess there probably isn't another way to accomplish this, but there are a pretty good chunk of smart homers out there that would probably rather not hack their power plugs off to install this. What do you think? Would you feel comfortable cutting up your power cords to make them a little bit smarter? Leave a comment down below with your thoughts. So we really like the idea here of running a product that can integrate with, well, just about anything that's got a power plug, but it's very much DIY compared to almost any other smart home product on the market today. And we really don't like the app sync limitations, but these do work. They're cheap, which is really nice. And the Google Home and Alexa integration is really sweet too. So this is gonna be a seven Sonoff switches out of 10. Head on over to Sonoff site for more details. And if you wanna grab one for yourself, hit up the Amazon link below. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to get alerts on future reviews.